super fluffy, golden bites of yum, packed with bacon and corn. Ah, oh, love these guys. And with my brand new Asian barbecue sauce. These are my four ingredient bacon and corn fritters. Let's get going on the bacon first of all. Now, just want some nice chunky bits of bacon here. All right, now bacon goes into a frying pan and often when I'm cooking bacon, I will actually start the bacon in a cold frying pan because that gives the bacon fat time to render out before you start to get those burny, crispy edges. Um, just works out better texture, I think anyway. Okay, so we want to wait until that bacon has some nice crispy bits on the edges here. I'm a crispy bacon kind of girl. so. We need to be a little patient. Okay, bacon is starting to smell really bacony and delicious. Uh, and we've got some nice crispy bits in there. I'm just gonna take that bacon off and I just wanna get it out onto some paper towel to drain a little bit. So bacon, one of our four ingredients down. We've only got three others to go. I love how simple this recipe is. Uh, a little bit of frozen corn. So easy to have in the freezer and handy. I'm gonna put half of that into my food processor here. And now self-raising flour and some eggs. And a little pinch of salt. All right, I know that's like an extra ingredient, but salt, you know, it's, it's a given. It's not an ingredient, it's a necessary seasoning. <laughs> All right, now lid on and we just want a nice smooth batter here. Now we just wanna add in the rest of our corn kernels here and the bacon and just give that a good mix. So to cook these guys, you just need a little bit of oil in the bottom of a pan, just enough to shallow fry. Don't need to deep fry here. And once that oil's hot enough, well, I can check if it's hot enough just by putting a wooden spoon in here. And once I can see some ferocious little bubbles, I know that our oil is hot. So we're good to go. Let's start spooning in this batter. All right, now I like to have little kind of oddball shapes here. Just get a spoonful and then scoop it into the oil. Now you could do these any size really. You can even do this as like a pancake as well. Uh, this batter is really easy to work with. It's really easy to kind of make your own. Now just when things are starting to look almost set on the top there, you want to flip these over and you should be getting a nice, beautiful golden brown color. Ah, oh, perfect. Now these happy little guys look good to me. I am going to get them out onto some paper towel. They're so puffy and light. Love. Okay, check out that little tray of comfort right there. Oh, they look so fluffy and light and delicious. All right, let's get them onto a plate. Oh, little bites like these always never fail to make me smile. Oh, truly joyful. Now, pop that there. So these little fluff balls, totally great on their own, but I think amazing when they've got a little partner in crime. You always gotta have a good dipping sauce. Now, I have a brand new Asian barbecue sauce out. I love this one. It has, you know, a base kind of sweet tangy flavor and then you're hit with like Chinese five spice and pickled garlic and ginger. It's super special um, and goes really well with these fritters. There you go guys, four ingredients and you have yourself an epic little bacon corn delight. <laughs> bacon corn delight, is that even a thing? It's now a thing. All right, let's get in here. I think I'm just going crazy because I'm so hungry. <laughs> you want to dip this guy in here, get a nice amount of sauce in there. Oh. Mm. Without word of a lie, that is going to put a massive smile on your face. I mean. Look at how fluffy our little fritter is. And you get hit with that bacony goodness and the sweet corn. And But the actual batter, like the actual fritter is so light. And then of course you've got that beautiful barbecue sauce giving you lots of that kind of spice and that sweet tang. Ah, the whole thing. Just, you know. Mm. You gotta make this one guys. It's as simple as that. So good. I am literally going to eat this whole plate and then probably regret it afterwards. But who cares? This tastes really good. Uh.